how's it going? I am starting another couple days in my life vlog. This morning, as you saw, I did a workout class and it kicked my butt. I just got out of the shower. I'm letting my hair air dry and I am going to head out for a walk with Kane. We're going to go maybe grab some coffee from Ralph's um, just because it is a really nice walk through the park and it's 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back. Um, I was going to put on makeup but I decided against it because whenever it's like really hot, I don't feel like wearing a full face of makeup if I'm not like really doing anything. So all I have on is Super Goop, which I love. It's actually this one, this one right here. I find it gives your face a really nice glow. This week has been pretty interesting. I have had a lot of time off because I haven't had to go into my internship. Typically in fashion, any experience that I've had, end of August, like middle of August, end of August, everyone goes on vacation. And I think it's because, well, I know it's because in Europe, um, a lot of like magazines and publications, they all fully go on vacation mid August. Like they don't work past August 15th. And that's just been my experience. So then US offices typically, especially in press, I feel like they don't have as much work. So they typically, I think don't need their interns. I can't speak for every company obviously, but from the experience and knowledge that I've gained throughout my past couple of years, it just so happens that a lot of people do take their vacation end of August. So I happen to have some extra time off and it's actually coordinated really well to Kane moving back. So we've had a lot of time to spend together and just like troll around. I kind of want to get out of the house, get that fresh air in. So we're going to head out right now. Um, I can show you guys my outfit because why not? This is my outfit of the day. Really simple and casual, but just like what I like to wear. I have on this ribbed bodysuit from Zara. It's so comfortable and seamless. I have on my everyday jewelry. These are from my parents. This is Misoma. This is also random from my parents. Just like to stack on the gold, you know. Um, and then I have on these pants. These jeans are by Acne Studios. They are so nice because they're not super thick, but they fit at a really good, like, they just fit really well. I find them to be a nice wide leg jean just because typically wide leg jeans are so unflattering on me, but these ones fit nicely on the waist. I feel like they look good on the bum and they don't drag on the floor, but they're wide leg, so they are perfect. And I have on the Ro Ginza flip flops that I have honestly been wearing all season. They're my, really my only like summer sandal. I'm not a big sandal girl. I find it gross to wear sandals in New York City because the grounds are disgusting, but these are great because they have a little bit of platform. So my feet don't touch the ground. And I was actually wearing this. It's the same thing I was wearing this morning to my workout class, but I'm, I'm too hot. And I feel like outside is too hot to actually put on this like linen button up. Um, but you know, for a fact, you see how it looks. <laughs> walk was really good we got some movement in some fresh air but it was still really hot coming back i'm like exhausted and need all the hydration um since i've been home i just ate some snacks i've been preparing dinner which i'm so excited to share with you because i've wanted to make this wrap it is an avocado chicken bacon pesto wrap <laughs> and i've wanted to make this for like two weeks, but my avocado wasn't ripe yet. And finally, it's the perfect time to make this wrap. So here's the chicken. I just took it out of the oven and then I made the turkey bacon. We have avocado, lettuce, cheese. If you're wondering why my cheese looks like this, um, I'm sure you're all wondering. <laughs> it's because I use a peeler like this, what you use for apples or 
um, like potatoes to cut the cheese just so I don't have an accident with a grater. But I'm gonna do two wraps with this Chipotle bitchin' sauce and oh my gosh, this was my first time trying it. It was so good. I taste tested it. <laughs> um, but we'll see how it turns out in the wrap. And then the other two, I'm gonna do this blue cheese dressing, which I've never tried. Some pesto, we're gonna spread that on the flour tortillas. All I have left to do is warm up the tortillas and then once the chicken cools down, I will assemble each wrap on this plate. I'm like ready to go. I'm so excited to make these little crunch wraps. I shredded up the chicken tenders just using two forks and this is just seasoned with salt, olive oil, and some smoked paprika. Now we're gonna move on to the tortillas. These are just the Trader Joe's flour tortillas. I've honestly never had them. I don't, as you guys see, I don't really eat tortillas or tacos or anything. So this will be my first time trying these flour tortillas. I'm sure they're gonna be delicious. And I'm just gonna heat this up, prepare this, then I'll get to wrapping it all up. this on all of the lettuce. I can't do my grand plan of doing half of them with the chipotle bitchin' sauce. Start with a tortilla, then we're gonna use some pesto. Then I'm gonna add half of a baby avocado to each wrap. just got ready have a nice full face of makeup on it's been so long since i did a actual glam makeup but i have this on right now because i'm filming a fall lookbook this lookbook i've been planning for months fall is the only season i love and i'm so excited to share this lookbook with you guys so i am ready kane is here he's setting up the camera and we're gonna film 15 looks so it's gonna be a long shooting day, but I am so excited to get this up and ready for you guys to watch before the fall season. Last year and the year before, I would prepare looks and I'd style all these outfits, but then I would try them, try and film them in the city and then I would never be able to actually upload it in time. So it would just be a big mess and waste of time in a way because you guys would never get the outfit inspo and all the effort would kind of like diminish so this time around we're going to complete it and do a proper lookbook in the apartment but that is the plan for today just wanted to say hi and good morning also i am wearing my dream leather jacket which i got recently from prada you'll see the haul before you see this video so you'll know but i purchased this prada leather jacket it is my dream leather jacket i'm wearing that right now um but you'll see it in the haul and you'll get a proper view of it so anyway, I'm a little caffeinated. I had so much coffee this morning. <laughs> I should probably put on some pants. We've been filming for four hours. I'm so hungry. I'm like starving. All I ate was a bag of popcorn. That was delicious. But now it's, <laughs> I ate so much popcorn. I took a 15 minute break and inhaled an entire family size bag of popcorn. Anyway, right now I'm gonna make a peach salad for dinner. But first, I need to clean up the apartment. It's so messy. I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like right now. 
So here is the bed. We have all the tech stuff and then the bags. Here is the table. We got makeup, all the clothes over here. <laughs> now I'm gonna clean everything up, put everything back into the closet and just like clean up so I don't have to live in this mess that I created. I'm ready to make some dinner. We have the chicken cooking in the oven. Here are the three peaches I'll be using. I'm obsessed with peaches and peach salad just screams summer. So I'm using three peaches. I have half a red onion. We're using three little baby avocados. And I'm using arugula because I love the peppery flavor of arugula mixed with peach. And then I have just like the material for the dressing, which is just like Dijon, minced garlic, olive oil, balsamic. And then we're gonna top it all off with some Greek feta because you can't can't omit the cheese. The cheese makes it so good and I'm likely gonna top it off with some sliced almonds or walnuts, but I haven't decided yet. So we'll figure that out later. Let's just start chopping everything and putting it in our salad bowl. right now I'm meeting up with one of my dear friends that I haven't seen for a year and I'm so excited she is visiting New York from LA and we're gonna go to Dante I love Dante but I've never had brunch there and we're gonna get brunch I haven't had brunch in so long I'm so excited um, but I need to head out real quick I'll just say good morning happy Saturday I'll show you guys my outfit hi Kane <laughs> this is my outfit today. I have on this super pretty Reformation dress. <laughs> Perfect for summer. And then I'm just wearing them with these Converse that I love. They are so worn out and beat, beat up, but they're my favorite. They're all cream. And this is the look. I love this dress. This style of dress at Reformation is my favorite because it's not tight. It's flowy. So you get that like movement and it's not like hot and sticky but then has such a flattering flattering neckline i'm obsessed with it so cute okay i'll be going out and this is my bag this is a little tote bag from the row and i wear it all the time so this is the luke okay i am gonna head out now it is such a beautiful day i'm a little nervous it's gonna be really hot just because in the apartment finally it's not hot and you forget how hot it is when you do go outside. I'm ready to go. I think my makeup looks so good right now. It's honestly the foundation, the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I will link it. I always forget, I, think, I don't know what it's called. I'll link it. It's so beautiful. Every time I wear this, I'm like, oh, my skin looks glowy. It looks healthy. And it's 100% due to the foundation because it just like, it doesn't cake up your face. Like look at it in light. You, you need to try it. If you're looking for a new foundation, this is one of my absolute favorites. It's not thick, it's not gross. You don't even feel it on your face, but it gives you such a flawless like application and it doesn't come off super easily. So I'm here for it, I love it, but I'll see you guys at Dante. Notoriously annoying. Yes. Every, <laughs> okay, every you're on my core. Uh, speaking of notoriously <laughs> annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's 
being so fucking annoying. I just got back in through the door, snacking on some crackers and some cheese. I shouldn't be because I just got back home from brunch with Bailey, one of my dear, dear friends. I love her so much. Kane, how much do I love Bailey? Um, out of 10? Yeah, out of 10. Literally a 15, like a 50, like a hundred. She's so inspiring, so beautiful, so kind, and just such a boss. And I just, whenever she graces New York with her presence, I'm like, ugh. So glad, makes my weekend, literally made my weekend to see Bailey. I don't really know what I'm doing for the rest of the day, so I'll try and vlog some clips if I actually do anything, but um, I'll, I'll continue eating these crackers for the time being. I really shouldn't be eating these crackers, but they're so addicting. It's this, it's so good. With the little blue cheese, I'll show you. We're having a little snack party right now.